and they're ready to race. Orders and off racing for the Hazelmere Building Company Maiden Stakes over a mile and a half, just over a circuit of the track, and Simple Verse is into the lead. Here's Brickton, moves on by a length and a half to your kindred spirit. It's the two of experience that hold sway early on. On the far side, Trigger Finger is tracking the leading pair. A little bit keen is Marmion with the yellow cap in fourth position, and the back marker is Cape Rosie as they come past us with a circuit to race. And at the moment, it's Simple Verse going a sensible early gallop from your kindred spirit in second place. Marmion's towards the outside of Trigger Finger, and last of all is Cape Rosie running a little bit green. A couple of lengths behind the third and fourth runners as they swing away left-handed inside a mile and a quarter to go. And Simple Verse... Having her third start then today, she ran with encouragement at Kempton last time. She goes on by a length to your kindred spirit, who's right up in distance today. She's a big filly. She's in second place in the white and green. They are now going a pretty good tempo down the far side as the pace quickens. Marmion towards the outside of Trigger Finger, who just comes under pressure under Ned Curtis. And at the back of the field, still Cape Rosie, John Fahey. She did attract some money before the off of this race. So as they head down inside the final seven furlongs, and Simple Verse still going on, maybe just slackening the pace again as they head towards the sixth pole, your kindred spirit is in second place. They're being followed by Marmion under Dottori. Towards the inside, we've got Trigger Finger. And last of all, still Cape Rosie as they take another left-handed turn. Simple verse by a length still from your kindred spirit and Joe Fanning has the move covered at this stage. A couple of lengths to Marmion, the newcomer. The other newcomer just both being chased along. Kate Rosie into fourth. Reminders for Trigger Finger as they head towards the final half mile of this Hazelmere building company maiden stakes. Simple verse, Andrew Atseni still out in front by probably a length to your kindred spirit in second position. Marmion is in behind runners. They're being chased up by Cape Rosie and the one who's really struggling now is Trigger Finger as they head inside the final two and a half furlongs. Simple verse still out in front. Your kindred spirit now being asked to quicken in second. Marmion is about two lengths behind in third. They are six lengths clear of Cape Rosie and there's a yawning gap back to Trigger Finger. Coming down the home straight, Simple Verse has had the run of the race. Going on still by a couple of lengths. Now can Marmion close under the Tory? He's trying to. They've gone clear of your kindred spirit. Simple Verse hasn't got this one yet. Marmion on the far side is trying to fight back but at the moment Simple Verse is holding on from Marmion and racing up towards line. Experience will tell. Simple verse beats Marmion just under a length between them at the line. Your kindred spirit back in third. Kate Rosie will be better for the experience and a long gap back to Trigger Finger. That is it for the Markel Insurance Philly Stakes, registered as the Lily Langtree, a mile and six furlongs in front of these fillies. Jordan Princess jostled along at the start. Arabian Comet given more time along with Chesil Beach. The battle for the lead, Hidden Gold is just uh, crossing over, and that's uh, in behind the field as lustrous it is who takes a handy position in company with Criteria as they race through this uh, first furlong. On the inside, Elysian Fields not far away, and in fourth place, Caldera. Uh, sweeping up on the outside of Groove Jet, the next pair, the Grey Alwalder on the outside of Simple Verse, who races next. Simple Verse in the gold cap ahead of Alwalder, Jordan Princess, despite being rousted along early, didn't get that close to the lead. Five behind at this stage, Lady Dragon, Island Ramid, Hidden Gold, Arabian Comet, and last of all, Chesil Beach, as they're getting strung out here. As they continue their progress with criteria, keen on the front end, leading from Lustrous's white face on the outside of Elysian Fields, who tracks the pace this afternoon. Caldera in fourth on the outside of Groove Jet in fifth place, then sweeping up on the outer of the uh, gold cap of Simple Verse, who races in seventh. Uh, then we have Jordan Princess on the outside of Al Wilder. Behind these, we have Lady Dragon, Island Ramid, Hidden Gold, Arabian Comet, Given Time, Noseband Yellow Colours towards the back with Chesil Beach. So making their descent down inside the final mile, criteria yet to really settle out in front. Leads Elysian Fields and Lustrous. Back in fourth place, that's disputed between the German filly Caldera on the outside of Groove Jet. Then behind these towards the inside, the goal cap of Simple Verse. Still midfield for sweeping up Jordan Princess and Al Wilder. Island Rami comes next ahead of the nose-banded Lady Dragon, Arabian Comet, Hidden Gold and Chesil Beach. So slight pause in proceedings there. They're pretty well strung out here as out in front criteria leads by a length from Lustrous and Elysian Fields.
three of these giving the leaders a fairly healthy start as out in fourth Caldera and Groove Jet four and five sweeping up next racing on the outside of Simple Verse Jordan Princess and Al Wilder then Lady Jagan Island Ramid Arabian Comet and Hidden Gold are still towards the back with Chesil Beach as they run downhill so entering now the final four and a bit furlongs now in front criteria still shows the way lustrous in second Elysian Fields in third Groove Jet's rider just asking to angle out underneath Caldera then sweeping up Island Ramid towards the inside in company with Simple Verse now Jordan Princess Arabian Comet still travels very strongly behind this front wave under a confident ride as out in front criteria is asked to up the ante lustrous Caldera then Groove Jet towards the outside sweeping up is trying to improve then towards the inside Elysian Fields no room for Island Ramid as they all hedge over towards that far side out in front Caldera Jordan Princess down the area outside hidden gold in company as well with Lady Dragon lustrous has always been in the firing line lustrous in company with simple verse these two from Jordan Princess hidden gold continues to stay on blue jacket down the outside lustrous towards the far side simple verse hidden gold with two lengths to find but it's simple verse who is out in front and simple verse the three-year-old will score in the market insurance for his stake simple verse beat hidden gold tight for third lustrous and Jordan Princess from Caldera and behind these was Lady Dragon it's a Rolls Royce performance from Bentley. A simple verse is note perfect to win the Group 3 Markle Insurance Phillies stakes, better known to you and I as the Lily Langtree. She becomes the fourth three year old to win this race since its inception uh, 12 years ago. And this was a taking performance. The last one in, and they're set. And away they go, off and racing for the Labrook St. Ledger of 2015. Storm the Stars just needed stoking up leaving the gates there. He wants to get a prominent position, Pat Cosgrave, as they race away from us down the back straight. Fields of Athen Rye emerges as the pace setter in the hands of Sylvester de Souza with Simple Verse racing close up on the inside in second place. And now Storm the Stars settling alongside her in third. They're trapped then by Bondi Beach in the purple jacket followed on the inside by Propose. Vonjo Masque in the Wildenstein colours, the blue jacket at the back of the field together with uh, Madrano as they continue away from us down the back straight here and heading across towards the furthest point away from the grandstand with fields of Athen Rye out in front leading from Simple Verse and Storm the Stars who settled well. Then comes Proposed and Bondi Beach. Vonjo Masque at the back of the field. They all settled really well. Madrano is at the back now as they go across the far side and they'll take in Rose Hill having completed their first half mile or so. Just under a mile and a quarter still left to go here in the Labrook St. Ledger. And still fields of Athen Rye leads by a couple of late storm. The Stars now moves into a clear second place. Simple verse the Philly with Bondi Beach racing on the outside of proposed Vonjo Masque. And then at the back, still looking on, is Fergal Lynch on board Madrano as they turn over on the far side now with Fields of Athen Rye still taking them along and opens up now to lead by about two and a half as they race inside the mile now. Storm the Stars racing a couple of lengths ahead then of the Philly Simple Verse. Now getting a little bit closer is Bondi Beach on the outside. Followed on the inner then by proposed Vonjo Masque and still Madrano brings up the rear. Got about to six and a half furlongs left to travel here in the Labrook St. Ledger. As they make their way down the side of the track, they've got the turn into the home straight in their sights very, very shortly. And still Fields of Athen Rye being held together. Storm the Stars still tracking with on the inside simple verse. And looking on then is Bondi Beach for Colm O'Donoghue. Vonjo Masque is just trying to cover any moves with on the inside proposed and Madrano being pushed on the back of the field as they straighten up for the judge here. Just under half a mile left to go in the Labrick St. Ledger and a look to see where his rivals are from Sylvester de Souza, who continues going strongly at the head of affairs on fields of Athen Rye. Pat Cosgrave though manoeuvring Storm the Stars into contention. Here comes Bondi Beach on the outside. Simple versus battling away back in fifth place then is Vonjo Masque. Madrano proposes dropped out. Storm the Stars joins in and takes over now from Fields of Athen Rye, bumping match behind there as Bondi Beach kept in simple verse, she's in the clear now though but it's Storm the Stars who grabs the initiative, racing towards the final furlong, Bondi Beach and simple verse, trying to wear him down, here comes simple verse the Philly, together with Bondi Beach Storm the Stars trying to rally inside the final half furlong the Philly simple verse from Bondi Beach, she's going to do it simple verse has won the ledger 
Simple versus won it from Bondi Beach. It was tight for third then with Storm the Stars and Fields of Athen Rye. History has been made of some sort here. Fonja Masque, Madrano and Proposed. Start. All set and they're off. Mile and a half in front of the field, Simple Verse jumps out well from that wide out stall, but the rider just hangs fire for a moment or two to see what develops in front and Journey and also Arabian Queen moving forward. Covert Love drops onto their heels, Simple Verse trying to negotiate a way in, but is posted a little wide as Tapestry and see Khaleesi along with speedy boarding just make it a little bit tricky journey gradually tracking over although a few of them are choosing to shun the rail early on as they make their way through the first couple of furlongs so Arabian Queen and journey are the front two tracked by tapestry in the dark blue and covert love in the hoops still posted wide simple verse of speedy boarding and up the inside the dark blue of beautiful romance Candelaya comes next with see Khaleesi towards the outside Madam Chang is towards the rear early on with Bocca Bocciata and also Lady Tiana towards the uh, rear of the field. So it's Arabian Queen. Simple Verse presses on again in order to avoid covering ground as they approach Swindley Bottom. Although, for, unfortunately, Journey also pokes out. And once again, Simple Verse has to try and get in. Tapestry shows in fourth place as they now make the turn. Covert Love ahead of Sikalisi, five and six. Beautiful Romance comes next with Candelaya. Behind these, Boca Bacciata. Uh, then Madam Chang towards the rear in company as well with Lady Tiana. So making their way up the side of the race course. Champion jockey elects Silvestre de Souza cutting out a decent tempo here, trying to stretch them out. Leads by two. Journey is in second place. Simple Verst and Tapestry, head of Covert Love. Beautiful Romance in the next little wave. See Khaleesi posted on the outside with speedy boarding. Then Candelaya, who's moved off the rails and is shunted along by Sumion. Bocabacciata, Lady Tiana, and last year's winner, Madam Chang, is last of all. Hunt turning for home, and it's Arabian Queen. Journey's riders cast a glance beside to see what there is behind. Simple Verst leads them up with covert love then beautiful romance see Khaleesi down the outside with tapestry speedy boarding lady tiana boca bocciata two and a half furlongs to go arabian queen out in front journey in second place for frankie dottori simple verse covert love down the outside see Khaleesi wider out boca bocciata frankie takes over again on journey simple verse into second covert love see Khaleesi down the outside with boca bocciata it is journey out in front with a furlong and a half to go simple Simple Verse in pursuit. Boca Bacciata down the outside. Journey with Simple Verse throwing down a sustained challenge. Journey, Simple Verse coming at Journey. Journey narrowly. Simple Verse takes it up. No doubt this time. Simple Verse, the ledger winner, won the British champions for his and mares. In second place was Journey who ran well. Top of the third beautiful romance. Covert love on Boca Bacciata. Arabian Queen went down on her sword and see Khaleesi next home. First, number 11, a simple verse. And they're off. And they race over one mile, six furlongs, 132 yards. And towards the inside, it is Mill Springs who is ridden into the early lead of the DFS Park Hill Stakes Group 2. And Robert Havlin and Mill Springs out in front. To the Irish Raider, pretty perfect towards the outside, is racing in second, forever popular in third. Followed then between horses by California. And then towards the inside is Star Rider, who's racing in fifth position. Carnarchy is in six against the inside rail. Pomona just about seventh with Abingdon three deep as they race on now towards the final mile and a half of the Park Hill. Elisa at the moment is racing towards the rear of the field together with stablemate Simple Verse. Also towards the rear of the field in the very early stages is Tioga Pass. So they race on now towards the final mile and a quarter and it's a searching early gallop which sees the back marker as Madeira fully some ten lengths off the leader as they go over the top of Rose Hill and it's Mill Springs who leads by a neck to Pretty Perfect who is in second. A length and a half away Forever Popular is in third. California bidding to give Frankie Dottori his sixth win in the Park Hill is racing in fourth position. Now Abingdon has inherited fifth place. Relegating Star Rider against the rail to sixth. Pomona is in seventh. Carnarchy is in eighth. Last year's ledger winner Simple Verse is racing in ninth. Elisa is very keen in tenth position. Tioga Pass is in eleventh and still 
last of the dozen fillies is Madeira. They're on the turn, they're through halfway in the 2016 Park Hill, and it has been a really hard gallop early, set by Mill Springs on the inside of Pretty Perfect. These two continue to exchange blows. They have now gone three lengths clear of Forever Popular, who is racing in third position. California is in fourth. Abingdon, a shake of the reins to the outside in fifth. Pomona making ground on the outside of Star Rider as now they begin to face up towards the final five furlongs of the Park Hill and now the wind in their faces as they come inside the final half mile. It's pretty perfect and Shamie Heffernan to the outside of Mill Springs against the inside rail. Forever Popular is in third. Abingdon is shaken up in fourth position. So too is California. Simple verse begins to check off rivals one by one for a Sheen Murphy. He will look for a scene towards the inside. Pomona staying on towards the outside together with Tioga Pass and Carnacki as they enter the final quarter mile. And it's Pretty Perfect who is digging. Forever Popular is coming on the outside Pomona. Then on the inside California. Simple Verse has got a seam, but she's got four lengths to find on Pretty Perfect who has had a perfect trip through the race a furlong to go in the park here and it is pretty perfect with last year's ledger winner simple verse coming and she's coming really hard simple verse on the outside of pretty perfect as they race up towards the line it was simple verse who won the park hill stakes now she's a perfect two out of two on the town moor and she got up in the last jump to deprive pretty perfect in the 2016 park hill lined up and ready to go here and they're off for the first cup race of the season it's the Betway Yorkshire Cup over a mile and three quarters and high jinks on the comeback trail is sent into an early lead and goes up already by a good two and a half lengths Marmello in the yellow and blue colors racing in second place Dartmouth and Ryan Moore just in front of endless time and simple verse the two fillies are racing in fourth and fifth Muntaha the Grey is next, Clever Cookie on the outside and Crimean Tatar at the back of the field as they race away over the far side of the Naismire with High Jinx and David Allen. Nine years young now, High Jinx, leading by about uh, five lengths maybe as they continue across the far side and go towards the final court, mile and a quarter. They've done the first half mile in what looks to be a reasonable pace. High Jinx takes the field along. Marmella racing in second place, endless time on the outside then of Dartmouth in the Royal Colours, who's close up in fourth. And he's tracked then on the outside by Muntaha, Simple Verse in the Qatar Racing Colours is next, followed by Clever Cookie, the defending champion. And looking on still is Crimean Tatar as they race on towards the mile start over on the far side of the track with High Jinx still comfortable in front, leading by about four legs now. The Shanti winner Marmello in second place. Endless time. It was last seen running second in the French St. Ledger is in third. Dartmouth is next. Montaha follows him. And then Simple Verse. The St. Ledger winner of 2015. Clever Cookie and Crimean Tatar at the back of the field. So racing down now the side of the course. They're inside the final three quarters of a mile now in the Betway Yorkshire Cup. And the order hasn't changed much at all. It's still High Jinx who has the initiative, but only leads now by about two lengths as Marmello closes up together with endless time on the outside. Dartmouth is poised behind them, followed by the grey Muntaha. Simple verse on the inner, tucked away on the inside of Clever Cookie, and still looking on at the rear of the field, Crimean Tatar, who's the first to come off the bridle, but does get switched to the outside now by Jack Mitchell as High Jinx tries to wind up the gallop. They're racing down the centre of the Knavesmire here in the home straight of the Betway Yorkshire Cup here. High Jinx the leader. Marmello a danger on the far side, travelling strongly. Endless time is poised as well. Muntaha is under a drive now from Jim Crowley. Simple verse is being popped a few questions as well on the inside. Dartmouth now needs to find a way out of a pocket and start Starts to stay on, and there's four in a the line then as they race up inside the final furlong and a half, and it's endless time who comes storming through. High Jinx is trying to rally, he's run a mighty race. Simple verse on the far side, uh, just du ducking left handed there, endless time, and now there's almost five. Dartmouth finishing off really strongly on the near side. High Jinx is rallying with Simple verse on the far side, Dartmouth on the rail. What a thriller! To the line they go. It might have been Dartmouth from Simple verse, but that will go to the judge. 
incredibly exciting finish to the Yorkshire Cup back in third end of time and high jinx game in fourth. What a finish to the Betway Yorkshire Cup. They finished spread right across the track. Near side, right up the stands rail, was Dartmouth, who took a while to get rolling, but when he did, he's finished with a flourish. And far side, simple verse. And it looks from that as though Dartmouth has won this. We will get the official result very shortly, but it does look as though... Here we go. ...finish for first place. First, number three, Dartmouth. Dartmouth has won, and a huge cheer goes up Second, around the seven, next part. Uh, the 11 to 4 favourite under four Ryan Moore eight. has won this for Sir Michael Stout, giving the trainer a fifth win in this race, 100 yards than he's ever been before, but quotes him for the hard wit. Racey, he knows all too well. Sevens from tens with Paddy Power, eights from twelves with Betfair. It's at this point that you see Ryan Moore just make that decision just to go right. There was a gap to his left, but he seems to, to follow endless time through. Muntahar starts to come under pressure, gets that gap to his right and that's the way he goes and he comes over to the, the stand side round and sprints clear. Clever cookie, he just he didn't seem to really pick up a, a better race this time round and also different ground but we know he handles it. Yeah we, we know he handles it, he just wonder as he's getting older does he want better ground now doesn't he? He won the race on, on good to firm, he's travel well he just hasn't picked up. The winner took a while to pick up but you know thankfully